Hi, it's Miss House. In this video, I'll show you how to solve equations by factoring. For each of these equations, there'll be four steps. Number one, make sure it's written in standard form. Number two, factor completely. Number three, set each factor equal to zero. And number four, solve the new equations. So I've got five examples here. We'll start with the first one. 2x plus 1 and 3x minus 5 equals 0. Well, for this one, we can skip number 1 because number 2 has already been done. It is factored. And now we can set each factor equal to 0. So 2x plus 1 equals 0. 3x minus 5 equals 0. So 2x equals negative 1. If you subtract 1 from both sides, that's what you would get. Divide by 2. x is negative 1 half. Then you have a second equation, 3x equals 5, because if you add 5 to both sides, that's what you would get. And now I divide by 3 on both sides, x is 5 thirds. Now unless you're solving an application problem, these will always have two answers whenever there is an x squared that 2 is telling you two answers. So two answers. All right, let's take a look at the second one. The second one says 4t squared equals 16t. Now this one is not in factored form, so we need to do all four steps. 4t squared minus 16t equals 0. So we move the 16t So we move the 16t to the other side by subtracting it from both sides. Also notice if the term, the whole term moves, you just change the sign if it's on the other side. So instead of 16t on the left side, it's minus 16t. Now we're ready to factor. This one has a GCF. 4t gives me t minus 4. And now I have two factors. 4t equals 0. t minus 4 equals 0. Well, if you divide both sides by 4, you get t equals 0 for this one. And if I move the minus 4 to the other side, it becomes a plus 4. So again, two answers, t equals 0 and t equals 4. Write it in standard form, factor it completely, set each factor equal to 0, and then solve the new equations. They're usually going to be one or two step equations. Now let's look at the third example. 5x squared minus 6 equals 7x. It's not in factored form, so I need to put it in standard form equal to 0. Now here's where you have to be careful. When the 7x comes over, it needs to be second in line so that this is in standard form. 5x squared minus 7x minus 6. I'm going to need to use the AC method. AC is 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. B is negative 7. So I'm looking for the factors of negative 30 that will give me a negative 7. Negative 1 times 30, that combines for 29. Negative 2 times 15, that combines for 13. Negative 3 times 10, that combines 
For positive seven, that tells me that I've got the right numbers, but I need to reverse the signs, negative 10 and three. That is how I'm going to take my B term, the seven X and split it up. Minus 10 X plus three X minus six equals zero. Now I'm gonna group the first two and the last two and bring down this plus sign. So I take out a 5x, x minus two, and I take out a three, x minus two. Still equal to zero. Now my factors, the common one, x minus two, and what's left over, 5x plus three equal to zero. So now we're down to step three. We've done step one and step two. We got it into standard form. That was this step. That was this step. Then we factored it completely. That's this step. So that's step two. Now we have to set the factors equal to zero. So x minus two can be zero, and five x plus three can be zero. In the first one, we just have to add two to get x equals two, and in the second one, we have to move the three first, it becomes negative three, divide by five, divide by five, x is negative three over five. Those are my two answers. Now, if you're not sure, you can always check them in the original, but as long as you factored correctly, they should check. Now let's look at the fourth one. X squared plus 11X equals 12. Now don't factor yet because there has to be a zero before you factor. X squared plus 11X minus 12 equals zero. Now you may use the AC method on this one if you want to. Negative 12 is AC and positive 11 is B. So since AC is negative, negative one times 12 is my first set of factors, and there it is right there. X squared minus X plus 12X minus 12 equals zero. Take out the X, you get X minus one. That's grouping the first two. Bring down this plus sign, take out a 12, x minus one. And so my common factor is x minus one, and x plus 12 is my second factor. Now you do not have to use AC on this. I'm not gonna make you show AC if the number in front of the x squared is a one. So if this number here is a one, Sometimes you can do this one in your head. But if it's anything other than a one, you're gonna to have to show me the AC method. I set each one of these factors equal to zero. So the first one is X equals one. And the second one, X plus 12 equals zero. If you move the 12, it becomes negative 12. And again, two answers because we had an X squared in our equation. Now for the last one, 2x squared plus 10x plus four equals x plus three squared. And the first thing I have to do is get this thing into standard form. So the left-hand side stays the same, but the right-hand side has to be multiplied out. When in doubt, fold it out. If you put x squared plus nine, you will miss it. 2x squared plus 10x plus four 
equals x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. So it's 2x squared plus 10x plus 4 equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. Don't forget that 6x middle term. Now I need to get everything to one side and a zero. So step two, we've got to factor completely but we've got to have it set equal to zero first. So I'm going to subtract x squared. That's going to give me x squared. I'm going to subtract 6x. That's going to give me 4x. I'm going to subtract 9. That's going to give me a minus 5 equals zero. So it's x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals zero. That factors x plus 5 and x minus 1. x plus 5 and x minus 1. So if you set each one of those equal to 0, x plus 5 is 0, x minus 1 is 0. If I subtract 5, I get x equals negative 5, and x equals 1. And those are my two solutions for the last example. So make sure before you start to factor that there's a 0 on the right-hand side. If there's already a 0 and it's already factored, you're ready to go to step 3. But if not, you've got to get everything simplified and all onto one side.